the best way I've ever started a video ever. Hello there. I am Vigalius. That was a weird intro. I don't know if I'm going to leave the burp in or not. But And I do want to apologise real quick before I start this video. If you can hear a fan in the background, uh, then I am sorry. But at the same time, I'm also not so sorry. Because there's a, a huge heat wave. And I'm expecting some sort of Durad sandstorm. Is it Durad? Man, I'm old. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm going to talk about uh, this new video game that came out. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's called Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare 82651. They have released gameplay for it. And I, I guess it's that time when I've got to talk about Modern Warfare. And finally, we've got damn really showed us something. Um, and, you know, without bringing something to E3. So I'm going to talk about that. Um, so... Firstly, I do think that the way that they handled it, I, I thought was atrocious. I thought the way <laughs> Activision continuing their thorough endeavour to let you know that they do not know how to market video games. Especially with all that shit from last year with Black Ops 4, with all of those meme trailers and weird green screen shit on breakouts. It was weird, man. And, and no one really bought it. No one liked it. And they just kept pumping them out. I don't know if I can Snoop Dogg in front of a Doritos packet on the breakout map. It just, you know, it was... The hell are they thinking? And again, they don't really... I don't think they know how to hit people because this hasn't really gone down 100% well. I think it's about 50-50 um, based on whether people are taking this as, you know, the, the, the full experience or whether they're just looking at the gameplay itself. Um, and I will get into that. I think having it as a Twitch stream and having this sort of, like, throwing this thing out before the multiplayer reveal event anyone who doesn't know there's a multiplayer reveal event happening i think on the first of august where they're going to have a proper you know big show and stuff like that and now if they had said hey check it out new gameplay in this huge event we've got people here we've got whatever everybody's playing they're going to have a tournament and it's great police cars are going to go past my house it's good. think of the commentary we're going to have people here and it's going to be great and it's going to be this big event and you are finally going to see what this game looks like and i think that they could have put more preparation into it more polish and stuff like that unfortunately what they sh showed us was a, a slap together twitch stream where they got a few people th um, together some twitch streamers and youtubers together to play some call of duty and then they threw it onto the um onto twitch and then obviously people screen recorded it and stuff like that with these face cams and everything and it just felt very wooden and very it flopped a bit i think as a gameplay experience i didn't know it was coming and i don't think a lot of people did know that it was um, coming i also think that they the what they chose to show was awful again i don't think they understand how to market their games i don't get it as well as not coming to us with a big multiplayer uh, launch event and look i get i get it you know we've become very impatient when it comes to gameplay for modern warfare because we didn't get anything at e3 and i know it sounds very petulant for me to say we didn't we didn't get anything this year for the 12th or whatever year in a row isn't that bad but it's like telling you know it's, it's like saying billy you're not having a 13th birthday this year you have one every year you know there's that expectancy to have of gameplay we've become quite petulant and quite annoying about it you know we want gameplay we want gameplay we want gameplay and I see that they wanted to push something through the door but a 2v2 game mode you know this new one that they're showing off I think was an awful decision I, I mean I get it it's probably to show off a new direction that they're heading in I mean I, I really hope it isn't because the reason I play Call of Duty is to get away from this boring boring generation of gaming the, the waiting era of gaming where people just wait for shit to happen people playing Fortnite for 20 minutes just waiting for anyone to bump into to potentially die and start it again and then people heading onto twitch to watch other people wait for 20 minutes for something to happen this in PUBG, in Fortnite, sometimes in apex in blackout people just waiting for shit to happen and the reason i play call of duty and the reason i play halo is because i want respawns i I want to run in there i want tactics i want to be able to do stuff not just wait for shit to happen so i really don't hope i hope this isn't the direction that they're heading in but i think uh, you should take it as an indicator given that they showed this off first this is probably a demonstration as to where they're going so they want to show off their new party piece which was in ghost as well by the way they had a 3v3 mode in there too they want to show off this new party piece hey we got this new 2v2 gameplay and it shows off our new engine quite well which is something i will be talking about and i get that but as a reveal i thought it was a terrible idea now i'm assuming that these maps are designed for the 2v2 mode that's what happened with ghosts when they had the 3v3 mode or it might have even been modern warfare 3 when they had the 3v3 mode they released maps that were exclusive for that um so i'm assuming that these t these maps are 2v2 only maps because they are very small and very angular and 
hate that so much <laughs> but they are they don't seem to be designed for team death matches now that doesn't make sense to me why they would show this and not a team death match game or something like that because yes they want to show off their new thing but they're locking themselves into smaller less organic less well constructed polished maps and instead they're showing you these tiny ones in the big launch event for the their new engine for their new game for their new direction that they're heading in they're showing you their smaller less impressive maps that doesn't make sense to me they should have bought team deathmatch if, if you ask me clearly they have a playable model of things within the game what they should have done is bought it forwards bought that multi, uh, multiplayer reveal event forwards if they wanted to show it yesterday by the way, I'm, <laughs> the time of recording this is the day after it was um, shown. If they wanted to show it yesterday, then they should have made the multiplayer reveal yesterday, bought Team Deathmatch with them, and bought this 2v2 mode with them. Then we can see how nice the new maps are and how well they are presented in the new engine, and we can see gameplay that actually flows better than shoot people a couple of times and then die, or run in and then die immediately. It's actually quite a bit of a gamble to put this game in people's hands when they could just be running out and then dying immediately. So I think that the way that they handled the launch event was terrible they should have shown us some campaign some team deathmatch something with some real proper maps and some proper gameplay rather than just running in and dying and i really as i said i really dislike these maps they're playing on i really do hope that they're 2v2 only maps um <laughs> two out of three we saw three maps we saw a warehouse a cargo area and a kind of um overgrown woodlands bit the cargo thing and the um, warehouse bit, I've seen both of those maps in at least three free-to-play FPS games. I've definitely seen the, the those very maps in Warface, I think those maps are in Crossfire as well, literally maps that look identical to this and when you're showing off your new game, you don't want to show people the maps that look like free-to-play bloody maps. They are so ubiquitous with the aesthetic of a free-to-play game and they're pushing that out and I don't like them. I, I, I you know, I I think I've made it pretty clear that I won't be playing this 2v2 mode and a lot of people have said the same. I think a lot of people do play Call of Duty to get away from the boring generation of gaming that we're bloody stuck in and we need to get away from immediately. Um, and I won't be tackling this mode. I, I, I don't think it looks good and I, as I said I don't like the maps. Um, the overgrown map looks kind of cool. Again too small but um, I can see flourishes of how good this engine could be uh, within that map. Um, so that looks okay. So yeah, so the maps I'm really not a fan of, but I think we should jump in to the gameplay. The bit that matters the most, the bit that has really kind of blown my mind in, in many ways in positive and slightly less positive ways. This, I mean, this is definitely a hybrid of Rainbow Six Siege and Battlefield Five, And... Hmm, how do I feel about that? It's interesting. Uh, I know that I've said in the past, and I may come across as a bit of a hypocrite in this video, but I've said in the past I wasn't a fan of Battlefield V's wavy gameplay, which seems to be present in this to an extent. Nowhere near as bad as Battlefield V. You don't seem, you don't look as though you're tripping off of your fucking nuts playing this game. You're not waving the gun about as though it was made of paper like you do in Battlefield V. Um, but it is very wavy, sort of more realistic looking gameplay, and I have I've never been a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. I like the gunplay to feel tight. I like the gun to feel tight in your hands. Um, not sticky, in, you know, in the way that it is in Black Ops 2, 3, and 4, um, but I think the perfect level of FPS gameplay is, is stuff like Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Halo 3, uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2, where it's sticky but it still has a bit of uh, weight and play to it. This is quite wavy, though I will say this, I don't think I was as annoyed with the wavy gameplay in, in this as I was with Battlefield 5, because one of my big issues with the swimmy, wavy, trippy gameplay and um, gunplay in Battlefield 5 was that, you know, you go through a whole map, you go searching for people, searching, 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 and then when you do encounter someone, you feel as though you can't really control the gun, it's just waving around all over the place while you're trying to take someone out. So I think in a smaller map that's more intense where you just spawn in running kills people kill people kill people and um, you'll a you'll have a better chance of mastering that gameplay because there is more combat more engagement and you can do more with the map you can learn how to be good at the game via the map which is something you can't really do in battlefield because they're so big and wide open um, and I also think that just having intense action like that and using the gun more when it's you know so wavy um, will lend itself better um, 
you won't feel as though you've wasted your time looking for someone if it took you you know if it didn't take you as long and then you enter into that battle but as i said i think it's something that um that eventually people will master i am actually quite happy about it i know a lot of people aren't but you i mean think of it like this man However it turns out, because I, I'm quite 50-50 as to how I think it's going to turn out, it might be that it sucks, we need to see more, we need to see more than a bloody 2 for 2, 2v2, no, two two, um, f a few games on 2v2 two two with the rocket launcher and stuff like that, we need to see better gameplay, which is why I'm actually quite excited about it, and you have to, I mean, Infinity Ward are quite good at what they do. I think the only time that they didn't do a good job when it comes to how the game feels was Ghosts. I hated Infinity War, uh, Infinite Warf Infinite Warf <laughs> I hated Infinite Warfare, but I do think that that was because of what they had to do rather than what they wanted to do. It had to be a sci-fi game with advanced movements and dumb space maps, and I didn't like that. However, I do think that they did the best version of um, that advanced movement and it actually did flow a lot better than the other games and the fact that they managed to add that advanced movement to these terrible small box like maps was actually quite impressive the way that they managed to make it flow so they are quite good at what they do and so I am quite hopeful for this new style of gameplay and as I said I'm excited for it you know it, it will be great to play Call of Duty play this series that had grasp this well it's not broke so we're not going to fix it mentality even though you know you can't do that when you release a game every year but they did um you know this this mentality of well you know it's not broken we're not going to mess with it and they're finally doing something different and being able to play that core game that core principle and everything that's in the game will probably still be there except it will actually finally have new gameplay and it'll be set in these closed quarters um maps which you don't really get much of these days either I'm excited about it. I'm genuinely excited about it. I'm, I'm also looking forward to the fact that they do seem to be heading in a more tactical route. As I said, I don't like the boring era of um, gaming that we're in right now, but I do like tactical shooters, and I like the idea of a... Um Oh, what do you got? An arena shooter that actually allows you to use, you know, tactical play and hide behind things. I've talked about this. I've gotten blue in the face talking about this over the past few years. Being able to duck behind cars and being able to hide behind things and plan your attack is the most important part of Call of Duty for me, which is why I started going off of it when they started prioritizing speed, 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 speed above about everything else. Well, it seems as though they are drawing back on that now, and you are going to have to be tactical about it because the gunplay looks harder harder to grasp and harder to master and I'm assuming they're going to put some some teamwork things in there too which I'm very excited about because I liked um, the things like having to revive yourself in Black Ops 4 which it seems I think has come back um, and I did like some of those tactical things but eventually it just divulged into here's another Call of Duty but this does seem different so I am excited and plus it's going to have a campaign and it's going to be a you know a modern warfare campaign so so far they do have me on side I still need to see what maps they're going to be um, showing with you know team deathmatch and stuff like that the maps that I'll be playing on and you know what they're going to be doing with it and how they're going to be working with things like progression and kill streaks and things like that I've heard rumors that the kill streaks aren't going to come back I've heard rumors that Battle Royale is going to come back. I've heard, heard rumors from everywhere. I want to know concrete things and I want to see some campaign gameplay. I think I've said in the past that I probably, I'm 90% sure I will be buying this game just to play the campaign and hopefully the multiplayer will be good too. It'll be great to have a new type of Call of Duty and maybe then finally once they've finally changed the root core mechanics and the animations and the way that you move, maybe then we can start again with Call of Duty and get hyped about it again and I'd be so happy to do that because I always want games to succeed and I always want games to be good. I'm not like one of these YouTubers who thrives off of how bad things are. You know, I talk about how bad things are but I would rather they weren't that way and I think a lot of people are that way too but a lot of people, naming no names, eight thoughts, um, <laughs> who just thrive on negativity in a very Trump-esque way. Um, and I'm hopeful. I am hopeful. I like the way... <laughs> In summary, I like the way that um, the gameplay looks. I think it actually looks pretty cool. I don't like the maps. I don't like the 2v2 thing. I don't want a 2v2 focus. I also don't like the menu, by the way. I, I, I just I prefer a simple menu. It looks nice, but I mean, I don't like faff going on in the background. Um, so yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Obviously, there's going to be a multiplayer reveal event, and then hopefully we'll be able to see some actual team deathmatch gameplay and things that we like the look of. This that you're seeing now is 
I think they're exclusive to the 2v2 mode and I would wait to judge your opinion on the game. If you if you saw it and you thought, man, this looks like Rainbow Six Siege or man, this looks like a free-to-play game and I don't like the idea that it's 2v2 and stuff like that and no respawns, which is... Ugh, um, then I would say give us some time and check out the multiplayer reveal event that I think is happening on the 1st of August. I, I'm not sure. They're not paying me to say that because Activision is scum. And I don't think they pay me to say that either. So, um, yeah, I would say check that out if you are slightly worried about the fact that it doesn't look very polished. I think the polished stuff is going to come within the core game modes that are returning and that they can put more polish and effort into. So, let me know what you think in the comments section below. And if I missed anything, do ask questions. Um, I do, I, I like answering questions. It's cool. And I like it when people compliment my editing, which I've seen a lot of recently. Thank you very much. That's, that's, um, that's great. That really spurs me on. So, I will see everyone later.